supper, Jim. I'll be, uh, uh, get the tablecloth. Uh, got some nice tripe, and, uh, Mrs. Dunn just putting the stew on the fire. Got any more of them, uh, mountain oysters? Ma uh, got some nice deer meat. Got any eggs? Fresh eggs? Yeah, fresh eggs. I'll have four eggs fried, some stew, and I want some strong tea. Strong tea, right. Uh, McCabe. Uh, I'll just have a double whiskey and a raw egg. Right. And a shield, right? Give all them boys a drink on me. Yeah. Hi. You know, if you want to make out, you're such a fancy dude. You ought to wear something besides that cheap jockey club cologne. Listen, Mr. McCabe, I'm a whore and I know an awful lot about whorehouses. And I know that if you had a house up here, you'd stand and make yourself a lot of money. Now, this is all you've got to do, put up the money for the house. I'll do all the rest. I'll look after the girls, the business, the expenses, the, the running, the furnishing, everything. And I'll pay you back any money you put in the house so you won't lose nothing. And we'll make it 50-50. Uh, excuse me, you know I already got a whorehouse operating. Uh, Crib cows, whores. I'm talking about a proper sporting house with class girls and clean linen and a proper hygiene. Well, I, I don't think you're going to find my clientele up here uh, too interested in that sort of thing. They will be once they get a taste of it. I'm telling you, with someone up here to handle all them puntless properly, you can make yourself at least double the money you make on your own. Uh, uh, what makes you think I ain't thought of that already? Uh, them tents, you know, it's just uh, temporary. What do you do when one girl fancies another? Well, How do you know when a girl really has a monthly or when she's just taking a few days off? What about when they don't get their monthly? Because they don't. What do you do then? I suppose you know all about seeing that. And what about the customers? Who's going to skin them back and inspect them? You're going to do that? Would you? Because if you don't, this town will be clapped up inside of two weeks if it's not already. And what about when, when business is slow? You're just going to let the girls sit around on their bums? Because I'll tell you something, Mr. McKay. When a good all gets time to sit around and think, four out of five times you turn to religion, because that's what they was born with. And when that happens, you'll find yourself filling the bloody church down there instead of your own pockets. Now, I haven't got a lot of time to sit around and talk to a man who's too dumb to see a good proposition when it's put to him. Do we make a deal or don't we? Well, 